Hey, this is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and today I just wanted to go over a few things with Trasher. So the first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is to get it downloaded. Uh, so let's launch our web browser. And uh, you could try Googling PT Trasher. And here it is. It is contained in my web store at www.pro-tools-pc.us. And uh, there's some various headings here across the top and you can go under Trasher. And here it starts off with some installation notes um, and then underneath it, the build section will contain the newest version. So let's go ahead and click on that and save it. So after it's saved, let's go ahead and close our web browser and then we can just open our downloads folder. And here it is, Trasher 12, so let's extract it. There it is, so let's go ahead and just copy it onto the desktop. And in the data folder, uh, you'll see the installer. And here in the installer is a few different options. Uh, new install if you don't have it installed already. And then we also have the ability to install over Trasher 11 or over 10, 10.5. And if you are installing over 11 or 10, 10.5, it will copy all the information currently out of the Trasher folder of things you've backed up and saved and copy them into your new Trasher folder for 12. So for this demonstration, let's go ahead and do a new install. After it installs, it will ask you to check the compatibility tab and to check it to run as administrator. And then from here, it's good to run. So let's close all this out. Uh, we can delete this off the desktop. And then from here, something I like to do is actually uh, open up Trasher in the Documents folder. And on the EXE file, right-click it and pin to Taskbar. So now it's pinned down here in my Taskbar, and I can delete the shortcut off my desktop if I want to. So let's go ahead and launch it. And a few things here to go over uh, that will give you the version, so Trasher 12 and the versions of Pro Tools it's good for. In this case, all versions of Pro Tools from 10.36 all the way into 12. This is our build number, so if I update Trasher 12, uh, the build number will be moved up incrementally. There is a README here to open up what is basically the manual. And then from here, uh, the next thing to take note of is across here is stating what versions of Pro Tools were good for. So we got 12 tabs here, which is good for Pro Tools 11 and 12, actually. And then we got the tabs for Pro Tools 10 and a couple little functions that are just plug-in specific that we'll go over. So back here at the 12 tab, what Trasher was created for originally was a troubleshooting tool. We had to go through all the time and different troubleshooting steps, recycle preferences, databases, different thing like that. So I just chose to automate the process. Um, so our first tab here, which is exactly that, recycles just your preference settings. And here, which is new to 11 and 12, is your plugins database. Sometimes when installing a new plugin, it doesn't pop up. Uh, you can't find it in Pro Tools anywhere. Sometimes shutting it down and then launching that to recycle the plugins database, it will be rebuilt the next time you launch Pro Tools and sometimes can help resolve that problem. This tab here uh, for your DSI press, which is basically your Pro Tools hardware settings and to recycle your Pro Tools databases. And here we can back up those settings. So sometimes like as soon as you launch Pro Tools, get your pref settings, your hardware, everything set up how you want it, you can back everything up. And then if you have problems later, you need to recycle anything like that, you can come down here and restore them back to your original saved settings. 
And here we can back up and restore our I.O. settings, which is something I use a lot with using different hardware interfaces, things like that, um, restoring to different partitions, things like that. It's nice to always have those available. Here we can back up or restore our plugin settings. So sometimes if you're wiping out your hard drive, changing partitions, anything like that, you want to save all your plugin settings. And here we have the ability to open our AAX plugins folder, which is sometimes handy to be able to come and check if you have a plugin installed correctly, something like that. Or you have the ability to quickly move anything from your plugins to your unused plugins folder so they don't appear in Pro Tools. Or in that case, pull them from your unused plugins back into your used plugins folder. Here we have the ability to quickly open the Pro Tools reference guide or the Pro Tools shortcuts guide, uh, but then also a way to open the Pro Tools documentation folder that will have all the documentation inside of it. And the open Trasher backups folder does exactly that. So you click on that and then that will open inside of Trasher all the folders where everything is backed up at. And here under the 12.2 tab is some more backup and restore options for your session templates, your plugin maps, uh, your track presets folder, which is uh, kind of commonly known as the track preset hack. Uh, this button here will actually create the folder you need to store everything in. And then this does give you the ability to back that folder up. Then the open avid log and crash log folders does exactly that and what these are for is occasionally when reporting a bug to avid they might ask you for a crash log or for a d log file in which case you can get those quickly out of that folder. Then back up all Pro Tools files to Trasher. We'll take everything uh, that you can possibly back up here in all the settings and we'll back them all up at one push of a button. Uh, same way as if you restore a partition, anything like that, this will restore everything back to uh, where they belong inside of uh, your Pro Tools folders. And this will just automate a way to back up Trasher to another drive, folder, anything like that. And then the 10 tab has all the similar features, but for Pro Tools 10. And then on this newest build, I have added a plugins tab with a couple little things on it. Um, the backup of expansion presets and data and restore. I mainly did for BFD3 because I'm always saving presets inside of it. So I want to be able to back those up when I'm changing partitions, things like that. Then I did the same thing with SoftTube, which I did predominantly for the purpose of being a console one user. Anytime I back up presets inside of console one, I want to get those backed up and saved. And then I had a lot of people ask for the ability to recycle the Waves plugin prefs and the plugin cache, which I'm not a Waves user, but I went ahead and added that. So I am open for anything like that if you have any ideas or something you might need. And then down here across the bottom is a couple more buttons. Uh, one is Contact Me. So if you have a mail client installed, uh, it will launch that. And then here is a quick way to get to the Trasher page if you have any questions anything you need in here and then there is a second ability to contact me through here on the site as well thank you for watching the video and i hope this answers any questions you might have had and it is donationware so feel free to donate thank you mm -hmm.